Hi, my name is Carla Lopez, and today I will be talking about formative and summative assessment. Never say the autistic child. The correct way to say this would be child with autism. Formative assessment takes place before or during instruction, while summative assessment takes place at the end of instruction. The purpose of formative assessment is to help guide the teacher in planning and improving instructions while also helping students improve learning, while the purpose of summative assessment is to let teachers and students know the level of accomplishment attained. Formative assessment involves quizzes and tests that evaluate how someone is learning the material throughout a course. An easy way to know this is formative equals during. This would involve things like games, projects, group work, and more. This works great when used on a regular basis and it is more flexible than summative assessment. A teacher can use hands-on activities to evaluate student progress as well. Examples of formative assessment involves observations, questioning, discussion, journals, assignments, projects, pop quizzes that are not graded, exit or admit slips, amongst other things. The top three formative assessment examples are make an ad, idea comparisons, and misconceptions. And how do we track formative assessment? Usually we track them by grade, by feel, which is the teacher's instinct, and by student data. Summative assessment is when you use quizzes and tests to evaluate how much someone has learned throughout a course. How I learned it is summative equals after. Summative assessment will involve things like formal tests, essays, and other projects that are always graded. Summative assessments almost always takes place at the end and are often cumulative. Some examples of summative assessment are tests, portfolios, their product-based, performance-based, journals and learning logs, or quiz and tests. Some examples of summative assessment are rubrics, written tests, creative assignments, presentation, portfolios, written reports, product or projects, practical examinations, or peer or self-evaluation. A format of assessment that I would like to try is called Two Roses and a Thorn. Two Roses and a Thorn is where you name two things that you liked about a chapter or a lesson and one thing you did not like about it, or if you still have a question about something you didn't understand. This can be used as a wrap-up or an exit ticket. I would like to use this during my field experience. I have gone to two field experiences so far, and they've been great. However, I would like to use something like this to get more feedback from them, because I know sometimes I am not confident about my lesson plans, and I have no clue if they really understood or grasped the concept that I was trying to teach. But this would be a good way to know if, one, they grasped the concept, two, something that they really liked about it and what stood out to them, and three, something that they didn't understand or they didn't like. As a teacher, I can reflect back on this and I can learn from my mistakes and I can improve on making my lesson plan.